First up for consideration within the sea of red transits confronting Trump is transiting Saturn opposite natal Pluto. As a planetary alignment, these two in opposition is very harsh energy. They were opposed during the severe unrest of the 1960s and then again during the 9-11 period in 2001. Within a personal chart, transiting Saturn can bring down the hammer by way of laws, rules, institutions, and governmental authorities. And as for the Pluto side of it, which in this case applies to the receiving planet on Trump's ascending sign and descriptive of his personality and his actions in the world, if karma has been accrued related to the abuse of power, manipulative behavior, violence, or cruelty, then Saturn is now knocking on the door and calling you to account. Who do you know that engaged in this kind of stuff? For sure and recently and really going back quite a few years. Right, we know who that is. Notice that Saturn comes from the 12th house, which is a difficult house and relates to your enemies, those who want to destroy you, and is now transiting through the 7th, which suggests the hidden enemies of the 12th now come out into the openness of the 7th house in a conflict that frequently projects into the legal realm of lawsuits and charges, and since Saturn rules the 6th, you can add the betrayal of your underlings into the equation. So expect some who were previously in his support group to bail out and turn against him. Another meaning that comes to mind is the 12th as the 3rd from the 10th, and therefore the house of the government's records and paperwork. Not a good scene if you haven't kept your federal accounting above board. and You can place an almost certain bet this guy most definitely has not. Most worryingly, and despite his recent recovery from catching COVID, Saturn as tenant of the 12th and ruler of the 6th is a primary health planet. This is, after all, the health axis. So opposing a first house planet, which is literally the body itself, a transit like this is a major threat to your health. And when you see that from the very same degrees, it makes a 150 quincunx to natal Mercury, the danger theme is reinforced. The quincunx is notorious for health issues and when it doesn't do that it is still an uncomfortable maladjusted transiting angle. If you simply look at the degrees of his natal planets then you would say that Saturn being currently at a little over 10 degrees Aquarius is now precisely opposite his natal Pluto at 1003 Leo. However if you apply the precession correction corresponding to his age Significant events are more likely to happen a bit later, namely when Saturn reaches about 11 plus Aquarius, which will happen around the end of this month. Now that's more immediate, but what is also true is that Saturn is moving in tight now, but will not be finished with this opposition to Pluto until January of 2022. For someone of this criminal background, this is much too long and much too risky. Way too many things can go wrong, but hey, He's such a nice guy that here is hoping that they do. All of them, hopefully, or even altogether for all I care. This man is a dangerous menace and needs to be restrained. Good. Nothing like Saturn, the king of restraint, and karmic accountability to pay you an unwelcome visit. So, once again, I end with, couldn't happen to a nicer guy.